so it's been a little while. Um, in such times I've done a few bits and pieces to uh, to Frankenrex or as now called the Velociraptor. You have to change the name every time the engine's rebuilt. More on that another time. Um, but I am in the Daily Driver Beast and I'm on my way to collect a trailer. And trailers mean fun times. Trailers mean another project. Da, da, da. So on my way to pick up a trailer and in this episode you will find out what it is that I have happened to have purchased this time. <laughs> Spoilers, it's an RX-8. <laughs> So this is the, uh, the, the second Project PZ, uh, as you can see, genuine barn find with genuine barn find dust, which has increased the value of it dramatically. Um, so let's get it unloaded and see what it looks like. Inside. I'm a little out of breath because I've just been jacking the trailer up. This is coldish start. It's been sat since we ran it for half hour maybe. No, longer than that, an hour. So, so it says. And away she goes! <laughs> I sort the trailer out and all that kind of stuff because it's still sat there and I don't mind. Uh, let's have a bit of a gander. So I bought this eyes wide open. I am aware of a few crusty rusty issues. Oh that's mmm tasty. Uh, PZ wheels all with genuine centers although the lacquer's come off so we might have to refurb those maybe another video on that. Uh, some genuine barn cobwebs and hay and stuff still in there uh, but you know we're from the barn, we're used to it, it's cool. Um, all PZ sides, all still intact. Uh, pretty much brand new tires. As you can see, the brakes are actually in really good condition. Uh, they were a bit crunchy, um, but I think that's kind of normal. It's been sat for a couple of years. Um, some great barn fine dust. Look at that, yeah, love it. Um, there's a registration for anybody who wants to do history checks and things. Let me know in the comments. Um, and again, this side, not so bad. Uh, again, standard PZ fare, really. Uh, the paintwork seems to be in good condition, but we'll know more when we dig. Uh, and a little bit of crust on the front uh, front sill there, uh, not too bad along. Uh, and then this is the this is the PX de Resistance. Mmm, holy! You go up in there, you could live in there. It's that big, and another one there. So cool, whole hole in the sill. Uh, so we'll have to have a look at that, uh, and we'll we'll get on that. Uh, it's got uh, an aftermarket cat on it at the moment, but it does come with decat. Um, so we'll, you know, get that going, get it up to temperature. As you can see, the discs on the rear, pretty much brand new. A uh, little bit of rust on them, but we'll, um, we'll get that done. Wheels could be a little bit better. Could potentially do from a refurb. We'll see how we go on that one. Uh, the stock PZ cat, uh, cat back is there. Sounding pretty nice, actually. Uh, just settling in, leaving it to warm up uh, before we shut it off, obviously. Third brake light, pretty good condition. Um, rear window. Pretty messy, so we'll see how that cleans up. That'll be the next video, I'm sure. Like giving that a good old clean. Uh, for those who aren't aware, uh, PZ standard fare uh, for RX 8s really six speed gearbox, heated seats, mm, tasty, tasty. Uh, air conditioning, don't know if it works. Ooh, pretty cold, does work. Bonus. Um, mystery wires, who doesn't love sticky mystery wires? Um, and microphone. Not entirely sure what they're for or from, so we'll you know we'll dig, we'll find out. Uh, there is a, another ashtray, or is it the same ashtray? Ah, parrot hands free. Ah, ah! So that'll be what that is. Cool. We'll work out how to get that working, and um, 
you know, whoever ends up with this car will, will be happy with that, I'm sure. Ah, <gasps> oh, there's nothing in the glove box. No exciting finds. Ooh, a tax disc. Tax discs, plural. Cool, all the way down back to 2012. Look, 253 pounds. Don't look at what it is now, that will make you cry. Uh, in there, oh yeah, passenger airbag is on, helpful. Ooh, nothing in there. Interior though, other than obviously the outside of the windows, is pretty good condition. A few cobwebby bits and stuff, but nothing that we can't clean up. Missing a floor mat, but it's okay. The barn has spares. Uh, so yes, all in all, uh, no free sunglasses. Uh, all in all, pretty good car. And as you can see, running up to temperature nicely and no underworld noises, feels, or coughs, splutters, or anything. Uh, we've got a compression tester coming on Monday, so we'll get that compression tested, and uh, obviously results and stuff will go live. The rear view mirror is a bit scabbo. Oh, look, there's me. Um, so we might replace that one, uh, just to make it a really pristine example, to be honest, because, you know, once we're through with it, it should be pretty good. Um, but yeah, everything seems to work as it should. So let's try a bit of a hot start now, so. Here you go, live, turn off. <gasps> it's gone. Now's where you should never do this live because this could go horribly wrong for me, but we'll give it a go. Uh, we did it before I picked it up, before we loaded it on the trailer and it's fine, so, you know, let's have a look. Pretty good going. I wouldn't complain at that. Uh, this car did have a rebuild about 10,000 miles ago. As you can see, it's now on 91 and a half. Um, so I'd expect it to be pretty strong, but it's always a bit of a, bit of a roll of the dice, really, so we'll see exactly what happens. Um, and yeah, I think that's kind of it for this episode, really. So um, check in for more on the Project PZ as I get round to doing videos and content. Cheers, guys. Bye.